Yes, hi, welcome to the demonstration of uh, a managed simulation which where the node uses uh, directional antenna. The objective is to form multiple paths through the nodes and balance the load between the paths. Uh, however, one of the interesting aspects is that the node should be having directional antenna. As you know, directional antennas are uh, but uh, different from uh, your normal antenna. Now, in the case of normal ad hoc network, if you see this node, this node would have a link to this node, this node, this node, as well as this node. But it's a directional antenna where we are assuming a direction of the, this side. You know, if I take a screenshot and explain you what exactly we are expecting out of the nodes, <coughs> now if these are the nodes and assume that the nodes have an antenna their maximum gain will be in this range okay and it will have a maximum gain and then it will have some side lobes something like this so antennas are designed in this fashion now when we start up with the simulation i'll stop it to explain you if you see that uh, you know this node comes in the side lobe zone of this node so they have a link over here whereas as you can see this is the way that most of the connections are from here also you can see that uh, it has a directional link to this node and this node whereas this node cannot communicate back with this this node you can see this link quite uh, nicely over here this this explains the story similar case over here as you can see the link are going from here to here whereas this node this node is in the side lobe of this node so when we simulate such kind of network i'll go for the fast node and This has the nodes mobility so because this is an ad hoc network the nodes will be moving and the links will accordingly get changed. Now if we look at the uh, trace from the simulation <coughs> how we uh, reach the uh, directional constraint is for any node we find out its x and y coordinate and then we find out the direction of first main lobe, second main lobe, the third main lobe that is the straight lobe, first side lobe, second side lobe and all the nodes that comes in that specific range uh, are being considered as uh, connected if I make it in the fast mode you can see the nodes will be moving at the same time their connectivity is going to be resolved new paths are going to be formed and now uh, look at this now we have uh, path over here from node number zero uh, there is a path uh, from five to node number nine from node number zero there is a five from uh, there is a node from via node number five and up to node number nine this is uh, supposed to be node number nine also node number 9 is directly connected with the 0 so these are the two paths so from 0 to 5 to 9 and from 0 to 9 directly so as and when the routes are available multiple routes are available it's going to show you the multiple routes and this also uh, takes a parameter which is by name control flow so this is going to uh, calculate the control flow via both the paths and then uh, it's going to uh, you know resolve the amount of packet that has to be transmitted across uh, either of the paths so as the node moves uh, you can see the links are going to get changed and it's uh, it's a great way of demonstrating you know how the directional antenna works and when you end your simulation it's going to finally show you the control overhead the throughput the latency you know uh, and uh, definitely the packet delivery ratio so
these are the performance parameters you can see packet delivery ratio and we can definitely change the number of nodes and uh, mobility and we can really uh, uh, simulate the amount of uh, data that uh, would be transmitted uh, across this uh, if I can make it in the express mode as you can see the uh, configuration the configuration are going to get changed and definitely it's going to show us uh, the other result packet delivery show control over it when you increase more number of nodes uh, there will be more uh, links available between the nodes and therefore the packet delivery should be higher now <coughs> coming across at uh, definitely uh, want to emphasize on uh, how basically the uh, directional antenna is uh, configured we basically have a layer which is physical layer where directional antenna is uh, been uh, you know configured uh, while we are checking the link so there is a code called uh, is reachable where we form the directional antenna you know how we do that is we take the uh, two nodes between which we want to check if there exists a link or not and then we call a function by name check direction so in the check direction function what we are going to do is we are going to take a total angle of 30 degree you know as you may see in the uh, uh, diagram that we would be considering a total angle of 30 degree and we are going to check if the nodes you know are separated by this angle or not if it is so then we say that uh, the uh, there the exists a link and then we have divided eight bands eight different bands it will start from the zero band and uh, uh, you know it, it it is going to check uh, the possibility so based on this complicated algorithm where you know we'll be taking the position of the node finding out the angle between the nodes we are uh, going to check if the nodes uh, suits or not in this way we basically find out the uh, directional stuff so it's a great way of uh, you know, implementing directional and, and the same work can be extended for other networks like sensor network and so and so and when the data communication happens it splits the node between the path and uh, transmits the 